Hello, we're Jacob and Jenny, and we have arrived in South Africa. We got into Johannesburg yesterday and made the beeline straight east to the Kruger National Park area, which is supposed to be one of the best places on the globe to see a whole variety of African wildlife. Through the next few days, we're taking a variety of safaris, starting today with a what should be a wonderful sunset safari. We're so excited. It's our first time in Africa, and we are hoping to see some incredible things while we're here. So let's get going. We are going to the Sabi Game Reserve, which is a private area game reserve that we're going to hopefully see lots of animals and we're going to be able to uh, stay for a little bit after sundown as well. So hopefully we get to see some night animals. Because we ended at night yesterday, we didn't get a whole lot of chance to talk about what we did. But we had such an awesome time. Such an amazing time. We had a tracker on our truck with us who his whole job was just to uh, look for signs of animals in the ground, like seeing footprints, seeing kind of keeping an eye out on the horizon to see what he could find. And he, he was really good at finding mm -hmm. all those little things. I recommend getting a guide at least for your first couple of times because you're gonna see a lot more and they're gonna be able to point things out to you that you won't even really know are supposed well, to be there. The kingfisher here is actually a woodland species. Uh, catching more insects. Um, so when we went out on the game drive, we saw quite a few animals. Oh man, there were just huge herds mm -hmm. of impala. Oh yeah. There were kudu, mm -hmm. waterbuck, zebra, yeah, warthogs. Zebra some giant birds mm -hmm. and to top it all off we got a sighting of our first of the big five mm -hmm. we saw a rhino mm -hmm. um, just magnificent they were saying oh there's a rhino out there <laughs> like look for you can see its back and we couldn't see, we couldn't see anything it, yeah. like I don't know what I'm looking at <laughs> uh, so they were able to drive up a little bit closer and holy cow yeah and then we stopped for a little sundowner uh -huh. beverage uh, just wonderful beer oh, yeah. overlooking the gorgeous sunset over the bush. Mm -hmm. Oh man, just superb. Mm -hmm. And then after sunset, we still got to go for a little bit longer. He was able to spot a couple of chameleons mm -hmm. in some of the bushes. Oh, that was pretty neat. Uh, I don't know how they how we was able it was to spot them. Just the whole time our guides were able to see things yeah. that we were not able to completely and then oblivious. completely in the dark they can point out this little green lizard in the middle of a giant bush right. just as we're driving by it. I <laughs> still don't know how they do how it. How they did that and then we went back and had a little dinner and then we were done so it was an awesome night. So this morning we came to Kruger National Park, which is the main national park uh, here in South Africa. Uh, one of the best places to see wild animals. In order to see the best animals, you need to get up right at the crack of dawn. If you want to see them active, you need to be up when the animals are up, which unfortunately for us, being jet lagged and just exhausted means really, really early. We're just now getting breakfast, and between when we got here at six and now, we saw four of the big five already. Mm -hmm. uh, so the big five are buffalo. So that's an old retired male buffalo. Lions. See the cubs on the ground. Uh -huh. Leopards, elephant, and rhinoceros. And the only thing we haven't seen so far is the rhinoceros. And we actually saw that last night. So we've been here for just no time at all and we've seen all the big five we've seen a ton of other things too we just saw a hyena just walking along the side of the road tons and tons of elephants massive herds of impalas just everywhere zebras it's been incredible uh, i can't wait to see what the rest of the day is but i'm really looking forward to some food right now it is very cold and i am, need something to warm up uh, I thought I had enough layers, but I don't think I do. <laughs> it's winter here. It's not cold for like winter, but it's a little cold to be in like an open truck with the wind blowing uh, and just kind of sitting there for hours. It's cold for that. 
but we're very grateful to have a nice warm cup of coffee on this chilly morning to just kind of hopefully perk us up and get us ready to see what else is up there for the rest of the day. We just stopped for lunch. We had another just amazing time between breakfast and now. Um, it's been a little chilly and I guess the wind has kind of made some of the animals a little skittish and want to hide. Uh, but even though we didn't see a ton of animals throughout the morning, we saw some really unique ones. Uh, we saw another leopard. Uh, so that's two leopards for today. Uh, our guide hadn't seen a leopard in several weeks. So we get to see two today. We also got to see the most adorable um, wild African dogs. Oh my goodness. They were just all huddled up in a little ball of dog uh, and just sleeping. It was so, they just looked like, I don't know, like our pet dog almost. <laughs> and then they had to get up and do a big stretch. Oh, they were adorable. Uh, we stayed there and watched those for a while. Um, our guide mentioned that he hadn't seen wild dogs probably in the past three or four months. Um, they're just that rare to be able to see. So it was quite a treat uh, to get to see those. They're one of the rarest animals here at the park. Uh, I think he said there's only like 400 of them in the park, which is a massive, massive area. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but Kruger Park is just huge. Even while we're here for a full day tour, we're only scratching a small corner of the park, basically. Um, I've heard that to really see the whole park from here up through the north, we're in the southern section right now, do the full thing, you're gonna want at least a week, maybe a little bit longer to really see the whole park. So um, <clears throat> to get in for a feel of how big it is, um, they mentioned that there's 13,000 elephants in the park. Uh, so if you can fit that many elephants in the park, it's pretty huge. We just finished up our full day safari at Kruger National Park and it was an amazing day. Oh man, I just <laughs> felt like a kid again. Mm -hmm. I just... Even growing up, I would watch Discovery Channel, <laughs> Animal Planet, Jack Hanna all the time. Mm -hmm. Lion King was my favorite movie, and it just <laughs> felt like I was living a dream today. Mm -hmm. Just getting to see all those animals that I just adored growing up. Yeah, and so many new ones that I didn't even oh, know existed. Yeah, I too. know. We just saw such a huge variety mm -hmm. of animals. Yeah, we saw four of the five big five the big, big yeah, five four today. of the big five today and three leopards three leopards <laughs> yeah unfortunately due to how far away they were most of the time we probably didn't get incredibly good yeah. footage of that but we did get to see them and mm -hmm. so that was pretty cool so it was an awesome experience we have one more tour that we expect to do in Kruger later and we're well we had one fall through, so, yeah, so we're... we're still figuring out the details <laughs> on exactly what we're doing. We're up bright and early again for our third and final day of hitting up the Kruger National Park here, hitting another safari. Today we're doing something a little different and we are driving ourselves. Uh, so Kruger is one of the only parks that allows self-driving safaris in the park. So we're ditching our guide today and doing it our own. So hopefully this goes well. We have yet another just beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Oh, we've been so lucky with the sunsets and sunrises every day. It's just so stunning. It makes such a wonderful view. So when you're doing a self-drive, it's a little bit harder to know where the animals are without, you don't have a guide who knows what to look for and the safari trucks the guides also have radios and they are constantly in communication with each other mm -hmm. to find something but if you just keep your eyes open and see where a bunch of cars are parked along the road uh, there's a pretty good chance that they are looking at something and that's what we just did and we found 
a whole like school of hippos. Or it's, whatever yeah, they're called. <laughs> group of hippos. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. It's crazy how close you can get to some of the things, especially the elephants. And they'll just sit there forever and eat, so you can always get a good view of them. So one thing our guide taught us the other day was that female uh, elephants can be very, very protective of their young. Just letting us know we've got babies, let us cross, give yeah. us space, we are in charge. So I'm a little t intimidated by seeing elephants, especially if they're getting close to us. So today we have to be, I think, extra careful and mindful of um, what we see since we don't have the speed knowledge of what to do. Or a big vehicle to protect us. <laughs> right. So we're just going to have to be a little mindful of that today as we drive around as well. Growing up, giraffe were my favorite animals. Oh, they're just so goofy looking. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, we found a carcass of what looks like a giraffe that the vultures have swarmed in on. And, ooh, you can smell it from over here. It's very brutal scene, just watching the vultures rip it to shreds. Wow. We took a little stop at Lower Sabi Camp. This place is really cool, really beautiful. It has a wonderful view over the Sabi River. You can actually see hippos out there right now. Uh, it'd be a great place to just sit and have lunch. Uh, unfortunately, we are in a bit of a time crunch. We have to get back to Johannesburg uh, by this evening. And we've been stopping to see a little more animals than we were expecting. So we're a bit behind schedule. So we just grabbed some food to go and we're gonna eat in the car. So we are sadly saying goodbye to Kruger and the safari adventures that we have been going on. It, but we've had such an amazing time yeah. and it's every time you go out you just have a chance of seeing something completely, completely different. different. It's you never know what to expect. Mm -hmm. You might go miles without seeing anything and then just see three amazing things all in a row. Right. You just never know. Yeah, oh. so we got to see some new things today that we hadn't seen the whole time and we saw just so much in the course of our three different safaris that we went. Um, so definitely leave in the comments if you've been on safari, what animals you were most excited to see, or if you are planning on going a safari, let us know what animals you're most looking forward to. Yeah, and if you like this, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and you'll see our next adventure. Thanks for watching!